Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Ubuntu Studio 21.10. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel on Patreon, those links are in the description below. Ubuntu Studio, brand new release. First thing we're going to do is go over to their website. Ubuntu Studio, a free and open operating system for creative people. It tells you right now that version 20.04.3, which is the long-term support, Focal Fossa is still available with the XFCE desktop. And this one right here is the version 21.10, and it's the Plasma desktop. This one will be supported through July 2022. Why Ubuntu Studio? Because they got everything you need right out of the box. If you're covering audio or graphics, video, publishing, photography, whatever tools you need, Ubuntu Studio, you can go download it, put it on your computer, and you're ready to go. And it's for creative individuals in areas of audio and video production, graphic design, photography. Everything you need is right there and ready to go. At the bottom, they have latest news. You can get your news there. And then up top, you've got home, about, news, features, you can click on features, audio, graphics, publishing, photography, and video. Download it. You click on download. takes you over to the download if you want to get the new version or if you want to go with the long-term support. Then you've got the support page, support methods, ask Ubuntu. You can use all of your Ubuntu forums right here for Ubuntu Studio because any of the problems you might have with this distribution, you can find the answers to on the Ubuntu forum. So let's go ahead and go back up and then contribute. And then, of course, the community. If you like what they're doing, zip on over, throw them a couple dollars. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close out of this and get to the desktop. Now, if you download Ubuntu Studio, put it on a USB or open it in a virtual machine, this is the screen you're going to be met with. Right off the bat, you've got one panel. It is KDE. You've got show desktops. You've got date and time up here. Show hidden icons which is notification, clipboard, vaults, lock key status, KDE Connect. KDE Connect, if you're an Android user, zip on over to the Play Store, download the KDE Connect app. Once you have it downloaded, you can connect it right to your PC or your laptop. And that way, if you get phone calls or messages and things like that, you can get notified right on your computer. And then we'll go ahead and go back up. You've got internet, you've got most recent device, you've got volume. Now I'm going to come down and I'm going to right click on the screen. It says configure desktop and wallpaper. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Come over here. And this is the wallpaper you get out of the box. I want to go ahead and pick that one and just change it to change it. Apply. I love the way that looks. So I'm going to leave that right there. And I'm going to click on the panel. I want to make it just a little bit bigger. So we're going to go ahead and up that a little bit. That makes it easier for me to see. So we'll close out. All right. Wallpaper changed and edited the panel. So let's zip on over to the application launcher. First thing we're going to cover is what it comes with for audio production. And you guys, it comes with a ton of tools. You've got standard audio utilities, which is the Carla control, QJack. And then you can go back. You've got effects, AT1, Carla, Jammin. Rackerack, Zita, Guitar Ricks, MIDI Utility, Studio Controls, Meter Bridge, Ardor 6. I mean, there's tons of audio utilities and tools that you can use in here. Graphic Design, Graphic Utilities. You've got Image Magic, Scanlight. You've got Photography. You've got Darktable, Entangle, Gwynview, Rapid Photo Downloader, Digicam. Then you've got Blender. You've got GIMP. You've got Inkscape, Krita, LibreOffice Draw, MyPaint, Ocular, PicoPixel, Scribus, Synfig Studio. And then for video production, you've got Blender, K3B, Caden Live, OBS Studio, KWIN, Subtitle, Slow Mo User Interface. You've got Games, you've got Internet, you've got Media Playback, Alyssa, VLC Media Player, Office, you've got Ebook Editor, Viewer. You've got LibreOffice Suite, Plume Creator, Writing Software, LibreOffice Math, Cyril, and then Settings, Cavanta Manager, System Settings. Let's take a look at System Settings. Now, if you want to customize the way 
your system looks, it's real easy with Ubuntu Studio. Once you open up system settings, you'll be met with this page. First thing I like to do is I want to go ahead and switch it to a dark theme. That's just me. Okay, so we're over to the dark theme now. And then down here, change wallpaper. Clicking on files, do you want to double click or you want to single click? If you want to single click, choose the top. If you want to double click, leave it where it was. Send user feedback. And then you can go over to appearance. On appearance, you're going to have a lot of different global themes that you can choose from. Right now, we're on the Ubuntu Studio Dark. If you wanted to change it over to Materia Dark or Materia Light, if there are themes in here that you don't want or none of these fit what you want to do, just go down here to get new themes. Click on highest rated. And as you notice, boom, it loads right up to the highest rated themes. Go in here, just install a theme, and you'll be good to go. And then you can go over application styles you can change. Plasma styles. Now, if you do download a theme, remember the color of that theme because it's going to download plasma styles and colors to go along with it. And sometimes Windows decoration. So, like right now, we're on the Ubuntu Studio theme. You'd come over here and make sure that the Ubuntu Studio theme was picked. And what that does is it's going to cover the theme that you get when you have your drop down menus, your application menus. Then you've got colors, window decorations, fonts. I like to change the fonts. I'm going to go ahead and adjust all fonts. I'm going to go adjust the size up to 12. Click on 12, then click OK, then click Apply. And all the fonts will change, and they're a little bigger and a little easier to read. Then you've got icons, cursors, font management, splash screen. You can choose what splash screen you want. The amount of customization you can do couldn't be covered in 10 videos. There's thousands of ways to customize KDE. And then you go back over to the rest of your settings. You've got workspace behavior, window management, shortcuts, startup and shutdown, search, notifications, applications, KDE wallet, display and monitor, audio, multimedia, color corrections, driver manager, KDE Connect, Thunderbolt, system information. You're running KDE Plasma 5.22. Kernel versions 5.13.0-19, it's low latency. Graphics platforms, X11. And then, you, of course, you can software update. But, I mean, when you just go up here and you look at the applications, if you're into graphic design, all the different tools that you have out of the box. I understand people tell me all the time, this is what I hear on a lot of my videos that I do is, look, Troy, we understand that you like the distribution you're looking at, but all these programs can be downloaded. So... Why are you making such a big deal about it? Just go get you a base operating system, download everything you need, and go. Here's the reason why. If you go grab Ubuntu Studio and you do any kind of audio, video, or graphic design, you know the programs are going to work. They're already downloaded. Do you know how many hours it would take to download all of these programs and get all of these tools? Time is valuable, especially if you're working. You can go download this distribution. Every tool you need is already there, and you don't have to spend hours doing it yourself. Plus, it's already been tested. Everything runs smooth. Everything's good. That's why I make such a big deal about it. Ubuntu Studio. If you're a creator, this is one you need to go download and use. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Speaking of software, let's go back over to Discover Software Center. And there is your software center. It is populated right over here. This is where you're going to get most of your applications. Whether you're going to remove them, add them, whatever you need to do. The Discover Software Center is where you want to go to do it. I am running in virtual machines, so it may take a while for all of this to load. But that's where you want to go to do all of your software. you got a ton of applications out of the box. And if you need more, you just come over here, do a search, find out what you need, install it. You're good to go. Plus, right here in Discover, it'll keep it updated for you so you don't have to worry about any of that. Tell me what you think. Is Ubuntu Studio something you might download, throw in a USB, put in a virtual machine, and take for a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to my channel over on Patreon, those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.